In quantum mechanics, that's no longer the case because these qubits are made out of incredibly small technologies. Okay. At the end of the day, how a quantum algorithm works is the following. There's something there's very um, famous called the Shor's algorithm. Okay. This is the one that all the NSA and everyone is excited about because this is the algorithm that lets you break RSA encryption. Mm, got okay. It. But it works like any other quantum algorithm in that here's what happens. You've got a bunch of qubits that you're going to prepare in some kind of state. Let's just say for, for um, argument's sake, I'm going to prepare them in the zero state. So okay. they're all zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply quantum gates to these guys, okay? And what that means is I'm going to poke this qubit a one way, so it's going to maybe flip from a 0 to a 1, or it's going to flip into halfway between 0 and a 1. And then this guy's going to talk to its neighbor who's going to talk to his neighbor. And all of these quantum gates are basically pokes in some way mm -hmm. of each of the bits that I have. Mm -hmm. the, the key bottleneck is the following, Okay. My gates and my poking have to be faster than how long it takes for my qubit to forget itself. Here's what I mean by that. Okay. In a transistor, if I turn it off, it's going to stay off. It's off. Unless like a cosmic ray comes in and like, like you know, the, 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 some proton comes in and knocks exactly that transistor from a zero to a one, it's going to remain off. And I can reliably come back and it'll remain off. This is how data works, right? Yeah. Whatever thing is in the zero and the one, is gonna be in the zero and one forever. At the end of the day, I have some time horizon that is way longer than my computation Yes. that I know can reliably remember if it's a zero or a one. In quantum mechanics, that's no longer the case. And so there's a lot of forgetting that happens. If my electron is a qubit, it's not gonna take very long for that electron to just get influenced by all of the stuff around it and forget that it was a zero in the first place. This is called the decoherence time. Okay. And one of the central challenges is, one of the central challenges in creating a workable quantum computer is to make the decoherence time way, way longer than the algorithm time. So, so this, this actually makes total sense. The, the point is, you don't actually have like a workspace that is active for long enough for you to do like, yeah, like valuable computation yeah. to get an output because the decoherence time is so short, 